your latest news update from Western Mass News. I'm Matt Satilli and here's your latest news update from Western Mass News. Three unsolved murder cases in Springfield cracked wide open today with two families finally getting answers as the man accused in the killings pleads guilty. Calvin Roberson appeared in front of a judge today for his arraignment and to enter guilty pleas. He's now been convicted in the 2006 murder of Luann Nguyen, shot and killed in Springfield at the nail salon she owned, as well as in the murders of Yolandis and David Picharo, two brothers from Springfield. The first killed in October of 2016 and the second in October of 2017. Hamden District Attorney Anthony Galuni is pleased that he could finally bring some justice to these two families. The judge overseeing Dominion Voting Systems defamation lawsuit against Fox News announced that the parties have resolved their case and dismiss the jury just as the trial was to begin today. Dominion officials say the settlement is for $787 million. It still needs approval from the judge overseeing the case. The announcement on Tuesday averted a prolonged trial in a case that exposed how the top rating network chased viewers by spreading false claims about the 2020 presidential election. The Springfield Thunderbirds are set to kick off their Calder Cup playoff schedule tomorrow. They're facing their I-91 rivals, the Hartford Wolf Pack, in a best of three series. We stop by practice today to catch up with players who say they're treating it like any other game. The puck drops for game one Wednesday night at the Mass Mutual Center at 7.05 p.m. Well, today was a bit of a cool and breezy day today, and that does look to continue as we head into the day tomorrow. But the difference will be we'll see some more sunshine on your day on Wednesday. Taking you through the rest of the overnight tonight, we'll be looking at some cloud cover across the area. We'll see partly to mostly cloudy skies as we head through the overnight. And then as we get closer to the morning hours, we'll see that give way to mainly clear skies. Heading up the door tomorrow morning is definitely going to be a chilly one. You're going to want to pack the jacket with you. We are going to be starting off with temperatures in the upper 30s with mainly sunny skies. We turn a little bit more overcast by the afternoon, but in the late evening, we are going to be looking at skies clearing out once more. As the sun goes down, we'll see mainly sunny skies. Temperatures will top off tomorrow anywhere between about 50 to 55 degrees, and then we'll see temperatures dropping down into the 40s once the sun goes down. We start trending a little bit milder as we head into the day on Thursday with mostly sunny skies and temperatures in the upper 60s to near 70. Friday looking like the warmest day of the week with temperatures near 80 degrees, and then we are watching a system coming in for the weekend where we are looking at the possibility of some rain and wind for your day on Sunday with temperatures in the 60s, and then we could see that lingering into Monday. A passage of a cold front is going to bring temperatures down on Monday with highs only getting into the upper 50s, and then right now next week is trending dry and seasonable with highs in the 60s. Stay with Western Mass News on air, online, and on our app throughout the day for breaking news, weather, and exclusive content.